It's an ice cream, cookies and cake. And now, vanilla is the second most expensive spice in the world after saffron. A kilo of vanilla beans costs $520, pricier than a kilo of silver or Wagyu beef. That's because Madagascar, which produces nearly 80% of the world's vanilla, has been hit with widespread crop theft and two devastating cyclones in 2017 and 2018, which destroyed about 30% of the island's vanilla crop. The result? Soaring prices and an industry struggling to adapt. Reuters correspondent Richa Naidu. Any company that buys natural vanilla is being hit by this. Um, that ranges from Nestle to General Mills to McCormick. Uh, McCormick is the biggest spice company in the world and they're one of the biggest um, vanilla buyers in the world. So what they're doing is they're uh, trying to cultivate a new source of vanilla in, in, in Indonesia. The 2017 cyclone made them realize that actually it's pretty risky to, to source all of this very important material from one island in the world that is cyclone prone. But McCormick's bet on Indonesia as the next big vanilla producer might be tricky to pull off. Currently, Indonesia produces about 100 tons of vanilla a year, a far cry from Madagascar's output of over 2,000 tons. That's because vanilla is not an easy crop to cultivate. They have to be hand pollinated. Uh, during a four-hour window pre-dawn. They uh, need certain soil and water conditions. They need to be grown on about 10 to 20 degrees from the equator, um, and which is why they're only grown in certain parts of the world, uh, vanilla beans. And um, it, it takes about three to four years before um, a, a new vanilla plant can even start producing beans. In the meantime, McCormick and other food companies like Nestle and General Mills are grappling with vanilla prices that have surged 500% in the past four years, sometimes passing on those higher costs to consumers and retailers. So you might have to keep that craving for vanilla ice cream this summer in check.